Hello everyone, this is Discord Swift Tutorials Part 9, and in today's video I'm going to be going over a few different ways that you can make your Discord profile stand out just a little bit more with these different Discord profile tricks. As you can see, we're starting off with a pretty basic blank Discord profile. This may be what you look like when you first join Discord, but of course some of you will probably have a few things on your Discord profile if you don't really touch it that often. Uh, but I'll be showing you different ways that you can make it stand out quite a bit more uh, just by doing a few simple tricks. And this is, by the way, without Discord Nitro. So the first thing you'll do is go into your profile settings. And you can see here there's a few different options uh, to add to your profile. Starting off is the pronoun section. Now you could put pronouns here, but one thing I do like to do is to put some emojis and some custom text here just to make your profile stand out a little bit more. For example, I could do something such as Ninja Warrior and then put a couple emojis beside it such as a ninja and let's do uh, a knife and there we go and we can see that uh, just by adding that uh, pronoun section with a few emojis in it and of course you could do your pronouns but even just adding emojis into that pronoun section does add a little bit more uh, pop to your profile and then after that uh, we could then change your avatar now of course the most important part is having a good avatar uh, that especially displays your profile as whoever you are but of course uh, the best way I like to do it is to make it pop, make it stand out, or to, or to simply have it nice and simple or very clean. Uh, now, of course, you could upload your own image from your computer, or you could choose a GIF if you do have Discord Nitro, but of course, this is for non-Nitro users, uh, this video is targeted to. But if you don't have your own image or avatar ready uh, that is created by you, uh, you could always use a free one uh, from this website called Flaticon. Com, where it has a huge selection of over 400,000 avatar icons uh, from a few more detailed ones to some really clean ones like this gamer one uh, or or this hippo one or whatever uh, and they're they're most I mean they're mostly basic icons uh, but there probably are a few more uh, uh, detailed ones in here somewhere and if you do like one from this website all you have to do is just click a download button or click the, or click the copy the clipboard button to copy the image uh, and then you can just take one of those avatars or your own and then upload it here. Now in this case, I do have my own logo created, uh, so I will be using that now. And then once you have your image inside of the uh, thing, you could edit the sizing of the image in the thing, and you could also pan around this circle uh, to choose where you want it to be focused on. That looks pretty good. And then just click apply to apply to your profile, and there we go. Now that we have that done, you can now change the banner color. And what I like to do with this color is to either match it with your profile picture, or to contrast it or make it the opposite. Uh, in this case though, I want it to match, so I'm going to do a nice bright aqua color to match my text. And just by doing that, it already made my, uh, my avatar stand out twice as much, and it makes my profile pop a little bit more because it's a nice bright color. Now of course there's the avatar decoration and profile effects section, but both of these are either locked behind a money wall or locked behind Discord Nitro, so I'm keeping them out of this video. The last section here is the bio section. Now, of course, you could put whatever you like. You could put some simple text and just put a little bio here, but that's kind of boring and it doesn't stand out that much. So I'm going to show you a few ways you can make it stand out quite a bit. Firstly is emojis, of course. So let's use an emoji here. We're going to use a controller emoji because our first statement will be I love gaming. And now this looks okay, of course, to have regular text here, but there's a few things we could do to make it pop more. So if we actually highlight over the text here, we can see there's a few different options uh, or changes that we could do to this text. There are six different options here. There is bold, italicized, crossed out, quotation pinpoints, highlights, and spoilers. Now in this case, I'm going to be doing a bold text and quotation pinpoint or this sidebar here. And we're also going to do highlighted text. Now just by doing that to that one little line here, you can see it already stands out twice as much as before when it just said, I love gaming. Now that we have that, we could just add a little bit more text, but what I like to do is add some custom symbols. Now there are hundreds of custom symbols that you could use online, uh, so you could choose whatever you'd like, but I'll show you the website here, which is coolsymbol.com. Now this website I did a, a feature in a, in a previous video, my Flare video, and as you can see, this website offers hundreds of different free cool symbols that you could use on your profile and by using these it'll make your profile stand out a lot more I find and also make your profile more unique compared to the others. So in our case I just chose a simple arrow uh, icon here 
And for this one, I'm going to use this up and down arrow with base emoji. And you can just click it to copy it to your clipboard. And now if we go back to my description, all I'm going to do here is simply uh, go to the next line here. And I'm going to paste one arrow and then do a bunch of spaces and then paste another arrow. Uh, and then we'll just line it up here uh, on this. You can see in the description here. And we'll just do it something like that. That looks pretty good. And then we can do and go and uh, go ahead and continue with the next line. So in this line, I'm going to do I love music. So I'm going to put a, a headphone emoji uh, right here. And then we can put I love music. And then we could highlight the text again and make it bold and highlight it. Then let's continue one last time with the arrows here. Make sure they are lined up. And then we could go ahead and go back down here. And for this last one, I'm going to do a cool dude face. And I'm going to just say uh, chilling. And then let's just highlight this, make it bold, make it highlighted. And there we go. So as you can see, just with those few changes there, it already makes our profile stand out quite a bit more. Now, there are a couple things we could do still. One is to make a custom status. So if we go back to our main page here, and we click on our profile in the bottom left corner here, we can see that there's a button to set a custom status. If we click that, another prompt will come up, and you can choose the title, emoji, and when you want to clear the status. So let's first choose a title, and for this one, I'm going to say uh, just vibing, and we're going to choose a nice little frosty emoji here, because I do like that emoji a lot. And then we could choose one that will clear, and we're going to do don't clear, so then it stays on my profile uh, nice and tidy, and then we'll click save. And there we go, just by adding another status here, uh, we can see it added another line and a little more, bit more uh, to our profile. And it's already standing out a bit more. And once again, you could stop here, but there is a couple more things we could do. Firstly, of course, we could have Discord badges. Now, there's not too many Discord badges for free, but there is one that we could quickly get for free, and that'll be the Hype Squad badge. So when you're in your user settings, you just go down to the Hype Squad tab on the bottom, click on that, click Join Hype Squad, and then answer the questions randomly. Once you've done that, you'll be assigned to a random house depending what questions you answered, and you could always retake the test to get a different house. Now if we just click escape here, we can see on our profile we now have, well, one badge here, uh, but it's still something added to your profile, which makes your profile just a little bit better. One last thing you can do is to have a custom rich presence. A custom rich presence is basically just if you see someone playing a game, it's just their activity that they're currently doing. Now, of course, there are different mod mods that you could use in different other programs, but in this video, we're going to use it strictly with Discord, and we're just going to do a simple text change uh, by going under settings. So when you're in your user settings, all you're going to do is go down to your registered games tab, click on that, and then you can see there's a list of all the games that you've played recently, and all you're going to do is click the uh, add, add it uh, button here, and then we're going to choose any app, so I'll just choose calculator, for example. And then all you're going to do, as you can see, it's now playing and it's displayed on your profile. And all you're going to do is uh, hover over the text here and then, and then highlight it, remove it, and then edit it to whatever you like. It makes your profile stand out even more. Now, of course, if you're in a server and you have a bunch of roles or whatever other things the server offers, you will stand out more with those roles equipped. Uh, but of course, just by looking at your profile in general uh, with all these changes that we've made, it already stands out five times as much as it did when you first had your Discord profile or, or, or even when you first started with a pretty basic profile with just an avatar and maybe a short little bio. In that case though, that'll be a wrap to this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and please, if you did enjoy this video, please subscribe. We're trying to go for 500 subscribers. And if you even want to as well, you could join my Discord server in the link in the description. We're trying to go for 75 members because once we do reach that goal, we will be hosting a premium Nitro giveaway on my Discord server hosted by me. In that case though, thank you guys for watching. Uh, please stay tuned for my future tutorials and I'll see you guys in the next one. Please leave a like and subscribe and comment on the video if you did enjoy this. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.